All right, powers. Powers of cosine and sine. Well, basically, we try to transform the integral. I'll give you a, a, a pseudo application of why you'd want to do an integral like that in a minute. But I've got two very important expressions here. Can anyone tell me those boxed expressions, how did, how did I work those out? Who said, look them up? Someone. Substitution, yeah? Yeah, just, su just substitution, okay? So, you can see that, hopefully, you've got a sine x, all to the k, and a cos x. Now, cos x is the derivative of sine x. So you can actually make a substitution if you really wanted to, to do all the, the grisly details. Okay? You really need to know this just like that. Okay? So you need to know this by inspection, really, because we're going to rely on these two points time and time again. Okay, so the basic method is to factor out either a sine or a cosine from the odd power term. So in the case where one of these powers are odd, we perform an analysis on the odd term just by pulling one of the sines or the coses out. Let me show you what I mean. You may have seen this before as well, of course. So I'll keep this handy. All right. So you can see in this example, I recognize that the odd power is connected with sine. So what I can do is just pull out a sine term, OK? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that alone and work on this, OK? So I'm going to go to work on what's in those square brackets and try to turn it into powers of cosine. All right, so what I'm going to try to do is try to turn everything there to cosines. So I can use my simple formulas. So I'm going to transform everything to cosines, if I can. So if I expand... I'll get something like this. And then essentially I've got two integrals there. And I can do them both by inspection. Essentially I'm going to go back here and use this, this, this second one. Okay? Now, you don't have to write all this out, of course. OK, so here I know, hopefully, that these are my integrals. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Something you might see on a class test worth maybe two or three marks. Okay, the important thing was we could analyze that we've got an odd power here, let's break that up and then use, tr try to turn everything in here to cosines. Any questions so far? <coughs> 